What's going on guys, it's Suk and I'm back with a brand new video over on Super Duper Tech. Now in today's video, I will be comparing the benchmarks on both the 11 inch and 13 inch MacBook Airs. And just before we hit the titles, I just wanted to ask you guys, what video would you like to see next? Would you like to see what it's like to game on a MacBook Air? Or would you rather see the Mac Mini review video? Without any further ado, let's hit the titles. As I do with all of my benchmark tests, I have compiled all the results into a table just to make it a little easier to understand. On 90% of the tests that I did conduct, the 11 inch MacBook Air seemed to better the 13 inch version. And the tests that the 11 inch MacBook Air did beat the 13 inch version on were mainly those that required more graphical horsepower. Which was of course to be expected as the 13 inch model has a considerable more amount of pixels to power when compared to the 11 inch model. The first test that I did conduct on both of these MacBook Airs was Geekbench 3. Now if you look at both the 32 and 64 bit scores on the single and multi-core scores, you see that the 11 inch MacBook Air did best the 13 inch model. Now testing the graphical output of both of these machines, I used GFX Bench to test both Metal and the OpenGL scores. And again, just like Geekbench 3, it's a similar situation. The 11 inch MacBook Air gives off a better score in every single one of the tests when compared to the 13 inch model. The next test that I did conduct was a disk speed test. Now, as you can tell from the results, the 13 inch MacBook Air gave off a better write speed when compared to the 11 inch model. In fact, the speed was near enough double. And looking at the read speeds of both of these machines, the 11 inch model gave off a speed of 952.4 megabits per second when compared to the 13 inches 735. The next test that I did conduct was NovaBench. Now NovaBench gives a score based on how well the CPU, the graphics, the RAM, as well as how well the hardware altogether perform. As you can tell from the details in the table, the 13 inch MacBook Air does gain this point. Now the only reason that it does gain this point is because it has eight gigabytes of RAM when compared to the four gigabytes found in the 11 inch MacBook Air. Over the last week, I have been receiving some terrible internet upload speeds. Now, as you can tell, the download speeds are pretty fine, but when it comes to the upload side, I've been getting a upload speed, which is near enough a tenth of what I was getting when I tested the 11 inch MacBook Air. Of course, these results are subjective, and if you live in an area which has a consistent download and upload speed, which is far greater than what I'm getting, then of course, your speeds will be considerably better. The next test that I did conduct was Cinebench. Now, Cinebench gives us a score for both the graphical OpenGL performance, as well as a separate score based on how well the CPU performs. The results from these two tests are fairly identical. Now this can be contributed down to the 13 inch having more RAM and the 11 inch not needing to power as many pixels. The last test that I did conduct on both of these machines was to see how long either of them take to export a 4K file. The length of this video file was 5 minutes 21 seconds. Now as you can tell the 11 inch MacBook Air took exactly that 5 minutes 21 seconds to render it out whereas the 13 inch model only took a mere 3 minutes 30 seconds so guys that has been it for today's video if you did enjoy it then smack that like button if you are new around here then why not subscribe to be notified whenever i upload my next video now just in case you are curious and you want to actually see the test and how i conducted them then i will leave them at the end of today's outro now as i said at the beginning of today's video if you do want to see my 13 inch macbook air gaming video or my mac mini review video then comment down below which one you want to see come next why not add me up on my social media my twitter account my periscope as well as my snapchat will be left down below in the description section of today's video click the annotation or the card on screen to go and check out my 13 inch macbook air unboxing video that has been it for today's video i hope you did enjoy it i'll see you guys next time have a good one